Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Keystone Montana Legacy Edition with the Volcano Paint Scheme. Just an awesome model here, weighing 13,300 pounds. This is going to have you playing footsies under the table with your special friend. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. This one is calling all the top dogs. You want to show off of the campground? You want to show off in the neighborhood? You pick up this paint scheme. It's gorgeous. Follow us along on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest. We are everywhere. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this paint job. Enjoy the video. Right on, Brandon. This is the new paint scheme for 2024. They still have Cobalt and Sterling and the other one in through there. This is Volcano. <laughs> and it's erupting. It is fantastic <laughs> in through here. We couldn't pick a better day. It's nice and bright here on the outside. Just an awesome looking front fiberglass cap. We've got ourselves a road armor pin box in through here to help you out with the chucking. We have our rougher style storage in through here. You have your inverter built in there, battery disconnect, uh, battery and box location as well in through there as well. And then as we slide around the side here, there's a nice light here at the front to light things up for you for nighttime. We've got our uh, controls here for our auto leveling system, 30 pumper paint tanks, one on either side. We have side cameras and the backup camera on the Legacy Edition. And then right here, we've got our drop frame, dropping things down, giving us all kinds of height here in this pass-through storage. You can see proof of all the aluminum framing, motion sensitive light. There's a heat duct in through here, keeping this all nice and warm. And then over here is our convenience center where we have our gate valves, our low point drains, our city water connection, our fresh water fill, our winterizing, our outside shower, all that convenient water related things are done in through there. Slam latch doors, of course, on our pass through. We've got a furnace vent, a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. Uh, the Legacy Edition also comes with the cord reel, which is what we have here. Six point hydraulic auto leveling sewer drain down below. 16 inch Saloon tires with our road armor suspension built into there by Lipper. And as we come around the back side here, Legacy models typically have the rear fiber last cap. Now don't get caught on that. There's certain models that don't, like the front living, the front kitchen. This back wall is too, too tall for the rear fiber last cap. This particular model has it. We have a class three receiver, a roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. And then here, We've got our door side. Our door side has big door side windows facing our campsite. We have an electric awning off of the main uh, slide and then a main awning off of the main body of the uh, trailer. This nice extended grab handle uh, by More Ride, secure steps all the way to the ground, also by More Ride, an outside receptacle. There's a porch light on the other side and a porch light on this side. You can see the other side of our pass through storage. And then here we've got our <clears throat> uh, in-command system where basically all of our wiring comes together, making that ni nice and easy to troubleshoot. Our central vac is in through there. And then, uh, yeah, let's go have a look inside. Travel access? Travel access. You want to do travel <laughs> access? Sure. All right, let's do travel access. Sorry, Brenton. Got ahead of myself there. We're able to come in. You can see we can get to our fridge quite easily, and then we can go up the hallway here, get to our bedroom and our bathroom, all off the side of the road with the slide out still closed. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Right on, folks. We're inside that 3231 CK. I forgot to mention there's a surge protector standard on the legacy package, Brendan. Fire option. Fire option built right into that pass-through storage. Killer thing there. And then as you're looking back here into our living space, we've got a great kitchen over on your right and then your living space over here on your left. We've got a uh, freestanding table and chairs. There's two standard chairs that come with this and then two more folding chairs that are up underneath the bed. This does lift up and extend as a leaf. You basically just pull these pieces out like so. And then you can pop this down, bring it down, and then you can get a little more space here at the tabletop. Uh, you gotta make sure you put this away though, Brendan. 
Otherwise, you'll crush that island. So just be careful with that, Brandon, when you're When buying, you bring the slides in. When you bring the slides in, yeah. It's not going to just crush your island willy-nilly. Yeah. We got our theater seat facing our TV location. These are uh, electric reclining. Really, really nice piece of furniture in through here. You'll notice there's no carpet in the slide at all. It all matches really well with the two pieces of linoleum. And then here at the back, we have our trifold style sofa that's going to pull out lengthwise. You're sleeping two people there if they're in love. We've got windows around the backside. Cover space here across the top side. Fantastic stuff. Soft closed cupboard doors. LED lights built into the crown molding across the top. We've got that TV we mentioned. There is storage in behind that TV. And we got storage here across the top of the TV. I'm saying cereal boxes in there. That's a mighty claim. Like, think of the selection, Brennan. Oh, you could have the whole Kellogg's <laughs> category going. <laughs> we got our JBL sound system fireplace built in down below. And then there's no kick plate or like step up here in our kitchen slide either, which is nice. A lot of times there's like that two inch kind of step up into the kitchen. I like that they've eliminated that. Look at all the counter space there you have to the left of the uh, fridge. All kinds in through here. We have a tower of power, a kitchen window, our Furion microwave that's convection. And then we have cupboard space in through here with built-in shelves. <clears throat> Pop-up piece there. And then two large cupboards here down below. This one's got a built-in drawer into it. Even that soft close, love to see it. I bet this one does too. Better believe it, baby. Look at how this is finished off. That was nice wood. That's uh, mahogany. You think so? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's too light to be mahogany. <laughs> Uh, and then we have our 12 volt fridge in through here, 20 cubic feet. Fantastic space there. Drawers for your freezer. We do have an ice maker built into this guy. And then backing up into the island, there's an undermount stainless steel sink. I like this feature here, Brendan, how they have this little piece here that, so you can leave your dishes in here to dry. Uh, that's kind of cool. You don't do dishes at home, I know, Brendan, so you don't understand what that's about. But You're right. <laughs> you don't do any dishes? Uh, I gotta work on it. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> All right. Uh, and then a garbage can built in as well. Nicely done. Yep. All right. I like these little uh, cutouts. They're on both sides of the island. Mm -hmm. Put extra like spices or different little things. Extra spices, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook either. <laughs> <laughs> we got receptacles in through here. Good looking backsplash. Three burner stove top. Nice deep Furion oven. We got a cupboard right through here. Covers on either side of our hood vent, hood vent. And then this hood vent is actually gonna lift up. A little bit of a handle in through there. Range hood underneath it. Shelf, shelf above it. And then there's two fantastic fans here in the kitchen as well. Now this is pretty cool too, Brennan. This is just gonna pull out. Give us just a little more counter space. We've got three doors built into it. These do come standard with the TPMS system on the legacy package. Fantastic stuff. Anything else you wanna talk about in the living space, B? Uh, no, just these beautiful lights that I couldn't find the switches for. Oh, I'm sorry you couldn't find them, Brendan. Um, in to the hallway, we've got this closet here as you walk in the door. And then we have our one control system in through there. Uh, sorry, not one control, in command system in through there. Oh. We do have, what's up? There's the light switches. So you couldn't find them on the control panel? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look. I was looking while we were doing the video, <laughs> and I found them. Okay, good work, brother. <laughs> Into our bathroom now, we have a porcelain toilet, and there's all kinds of dump truck space in through here. We've got cupboard space there, cupboard space there, drawers here down the middle, great counter space, even though you have two sinks, double mirror action, a big window here behind me, and then a medicine cabinet in, in between. Up into the shower, I'm six feet tall. Your boy Josh fits in through here quite easily. Uh, there's a nice uh, mahogany seat again, and then a body sprayer, hand wand, rain sensor, sorry, not rain sensor, rainfall style shower. And then in behind all this, we've got these nice corner style cupboards, head to, uh, or ceiling to floor, not head to toe. Um, into the uh, bedroom now, there's a king size bed out in the slide. You could option in a queen. We've got uh, windows on either side of the bed, nice CPAP tables or just cell phone tables right above the bed with receptacles and USBs. We're gonna have storage here underneath the bed, which is where our two folding chairs are just packed away. And then here at the front, we've got our front closet with hanging, receptacle, shelf, 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 and a laundry hamper built right into there. And then in case you wanna add laundry, you can do that easily. 
in through here. Actually, on a factory order, Brandon, you can put a uh, stackable washer dryer on these, eh? Great job, Keystone. Great jeepers. Gotcha. You didn't warn me about the door <laughs> slam on the face. The TV here is across from the bed. It's tilted down away, so it's actually appropriate to watch. And then we got six drawers built into here as well, into our dresser. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.